Stirling, Scotland's smallest city in population. Over the years, this place has developed a rich and intriguing history. From castles and knights to battles and strategies, there's honestly too much history to explore if you're trying to cover it in its entirety. But that history is well documented and readily available. What I'm more interested in is the modern history of this city. As time keeps ticking, there are some places in this city that aren't as lucky as the castles that are remembered for centuries. I don't want any part of this city to be forgotten, especially not the lifeblood that is Sterling's local business. So I'm gonna be taking a closer look at some of these businesses and find out why people chose to set up shop in this city. I've been living in this place for almost four years and in that amount of time, I've seen quite a lot of change. So before anything else goes away, let's go to some of these unique businesses and find out what they're all about. So what is it that your business does here in Stirling? Well, I am Stirling's only all year round Christmas shop. I am a pastor of a local church, Calvary Fellowship Stirling. So what made you want to set up here in Stirling? Well, really ultimately God is the one who called us here, but Stirling in and of itself is just a great location. I really wouldn't want to work anywhere else. I wouldn't want to commute, but I also, I'm really proud of my town and I love it. Uh, it's small and yet it's got so much to offer as a city. I know when I've been away, even if it's just for the day, um, when I'm coming home to Stirling, I do get that feeling in my heart that says, oh, I'm coming home. What do you think it is about Stirling that uh, just draws maybe yourself and other people here? I've always thought that Stirling is as nice as Edinburgh in terms of the architecture and scenery, but it's smaller so people feel a bit less vulnerable. Um, and I think that like Glasgow, Stirling's perceived to be a really friendly town, quite relaxed. So I think we've got the best bits of Glasgow and the best bits of Edinburgh. We're smack bang in the middle here in Stirling. Yeah, the location is great. It's centrally located near the, near the Trossachs, near the Highlands. It uh, has great amenities as a city. It's, it's a city, but it's still small enough that it provides just a, a great small town atmosphere. Everyone can get to know one another, yeah. So as we can see, there are so many places that have their own services to provide and stories to tell. But there are still so many to find, go into, and learn from. Why do you feel it's important to try to support your local businesses? To support your local business is to keep your high street alive. I think as well as a community, it's good to uh, have small businesses to provide variety. Of, of different types of products and services, uh, as well as to get to know the actual people within the, the shops themselves. So instead of um, going past the corner shop and getting your sandwich or whatever from a chain, go to your local high street shop, go to a coffee shop that's independent, go to a restaurant that's independent and that's what you're helping to do. So there we have it. Let's go out and explore the shops in our towns and cities. There are still so many amazing places, people, and stories out there. This has been a closer look at Sterling. Thank you.